everybody, Mark Walters here. I'm in front of a statue of someone I admire very much by the name of Pat Tillman. Now, uh, what I want to share with you in this video is the difference between buying a property subject to the underlying financing and acquiring a property using a lease option. Very quickly, I like both techniques, but when acquiring real estate, I like to get the deed. And one reason for that is, if someone has really bad finances, if I lease a property from them with an option to purchase it down the road, well, they stay on the title. And if they file for bankruptcy down the road, creditors can then come back after the house. Now, if I have, since getting this lease with an option to purchase, if I have then gotten someone into the house with a lease with an option to purchase to them, and then a creditor comes to take away the house, not a good situation. What I like to do is buy the property subject to the underlying financing. That way the, the, uh, the seller will sign over the deed to me. They are no longer on the deed. Then I will turn around and offer a property using a lease with an option to purchase. It's a much better position to be in. Gives you control of that property because you've got the deed. So they're both great tools. But one thing that I personally like is to buy the property subject to the underlying financing, get the deed, then turn around and offer it with a lease with an option to purchase. So I think those are two things to realize, especially in our current economy where people are usually in financial straits when they get in a pre-foreclosure situation. And just because uh, they no longer have to make their mortgage payments doesn't mean their finances are all of a sudden very good. So. You know, think about that when you are acquiring real estate and it might save you a lot of heartache and headache down the road. I'm Mark Walters and I look forward to sharing more with you again on CashflowInstitute.com. Talk to you later. Hey everybody, Mark Walters here. I'm in front of a statue of someone I admire very much by the name of Pat Tillman. Now. Uh, what I want to share with you in this video is the difference between buying a property subject to the underlying financing and acquiring a property using a lease option. Very quickly, I like both techniques, but when acquiring real estate, I like to get the deed. And one reason for that is if someone has really bad finances, if I lease a property from them with an option to purchase it down the road, well, they stay on the title. And if they file for bankruptcy down the road,